I will give you an in-depth tutorial of Curtin's Calculator application and will try to answer these questions, how to calculate the orders, how to create a simple and detailed quotes, and how to create a workshop information for your manufacturers. So let's go to the Curtin's Calculator application and by default we'll enter the orders page so you can see a navigation bar on the left you can navigate from calculator to your orders page to your client's database to your fabric library and makeup costs where you can change everything from the treatment parameters to add and edit and delete your services curtain headings blind amounts, hardware information. So it's all your branches settings. So at the moment, we'll go to our orders database page. In our orders database page, you can see your orders number, a total price for your order, uh, your client's name, your designer's name, a date when the order was created, order statuses, you can change it and navigate from estimate to in process to complete it and canceled if your client canceled the order and uh, the action buttons uh, you can view your order you can copy and paste it and you can delete it to reach your calculator page you can click this plus create button or you can go to your calculator when you wish to start calculating the order, click the calculator icon on the left side of the bar and you will go to the calculator page. At the top of the page, you will see the client details section. Click on it and you will have two options to create new or search from your client's database. So at the moment, we will click a create new. So you see there are two options, a B2C client and B2B client. The difference between those, if you'll click on company icon, you'll get a few more options like title, company's name, legal ID and VIT code. So let's create a B2C client and give a name of Darius. Let's confirm and save it. So now you will see a small icon uh, near my name, you can see that it's a B2C client. To start calculate, you have to add your first room and you can add as many rooms as you need it. So at the moment we will create a three rooms apartment and we'll name it a kitchen, kids room and a bedroom as an example. Let's start by choosing your first treatment in our first room. Click a plus button and choose your treatment. I will choose a pleated curtains and uh, we give you a, a few options with the different borders like vertical and horizontal borders. I will choose a simple curtain give a name for your curtain and you can add a description like it's a left window or north window etc below you can see your sketch for your treatment and it might change if you will choose like pair of your treatment configurations you can see it changes all the time uh, you choose your heading from your library or you can add it manually i will choose it from my library enter your measurements for your uh, treatment for your curtain click yes if pulling is required and if you'll click yes you see there's uh, an option to add a uh, measurements for your pooling Below you have a fabric information. So also you can choose your fabric from your library or you can add it custom. So I will add it custom. I will enter my uh, article for the fabric. I will add a color. 
I will give a price per meter and let it be 50 pounds per meter and you see below there's a width for your fabric by default it's a vertical roll direction fabric for uh, 1.4 meters width so if you'll choose like 3 meters width you'll give a horizontal roll direction and it will calculate horizontally if you have your pattern repeat please enter it below into one of the sections horizontal or vertical and if you have lining you can also choose it as lined or interlined with a click of a button in treatment services section you also are able to add your treatment services manually with a custom button or you can choose from your library let's choose from our library as an example installation cost uh, the quantity goes as one so let's uh, say that it's it's per this window and we have an option to leave a note for our teammates or manufacturers below you see a treatment parameter so we can also choose it from our library or we can add it manually so I will choose from my library a sewings and hands click a save button and if you want to see a detailed information click this arrow and you will see a total price your treatments your uh, curtain width and high your sewing amount and price your headings you chose for for this treatment your uh, fabric and all the information about the fabric fabric width fabric height fabric panel amount and fabric amount and total price for this fabric and all other information you added into this treatment if you click this uh, three dots you have few options to copy curtain to give a discount to save it as a template or delete curtain if you'll click a copy curtain a button paste will appear under a plus button so click on it and you will have your copy and pasted curtain you are able to click edit and edit any information into this particular treatment if you will give a discount you'll give a discount only on fabrics not on services and you are able to save it as a template let's choose this option and when you will want to add new treatment you see there's a treatment template so if you'll click on this treatment template now you have an option as this uh, curtain as an option to add anytime you want it's now as your template so you can use it anytime in any other orders let's navigate to quote section in our quote section we have the options to add terms and conditions to name our quote to change issue date or due date just with a click of a button to download our quotes and uh, email it and to uh, view our quotes as a simple one or a detailed one or an explicit one in workshop page you can see and uh, send your workshop information page for your manufacturers you also are able to uh, leave a note for your manufacturers to change your due date or accepted date if you click on total price you will be able to give a discount from your total price for the order so let's change it to 10 percent and it changes immediately and you are able to navigate from calculator to quotes and workshop information anytime you want so now let's go to our orders page and you see our new order is in estimate mode and 
let's assume that our customer just made a d-payment and it goes into in process mode so you as a manager uh, can see it as a blue order and that means that your order is in process mode and now you are able to view this order and edit it to copy and paste it and to delete it mm -hmm.